Hey everyone, Chelsea here from So Simple Home. Today we are making a bow scrunchie. Um, this is a really fun project. It's super simple. Um, and we actually already have a pattern and tutorial um, on our blog for this. We do have a short video of this project, um, but a lot of people have requested a little longer video to kind of help them with the step-by-step -step process. So that's what we're going to do today. We're gonna to make a longer video. Now to start out, you're gonna need the pattern. You can get that on our blog, sosimplehome.com. There's a link down in the description for it. Um, you're gonna need the piece for the bow and then you're gonna need the actual scrunchie dimensions. Um, this one is about four inches by 23 inches up to 25. You kind of have some leeway there and then um, the actual bow piece. Now for this project, you have two options. Um, for this bow, I actually put some interfacing on the back side of it, so the bow has a little bit more structure. You can kind of see that. It holds its own a little bit better. Um, for this one, I'm not gonna do the interfacing, so you can kind of see the difference between the two scrunchies. So I just need specifically the uh, scrunchie itself and then the piece for the bow. So let's start. So the first thing you're gonna do is make the actual bow piece. So you're gonna fold the bow in half and you're gonna pin it. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it's always helpful like this. And then we're gonna leave a little opening in our sewing. So we're gonna stitch from one corner to here and then from here to the other corner with an opening in the middle. So I'm just using a quarter of an inch seam allowance which is right at the edge of the presser foot. Stitching to my needle here. I backstitch, lift my needle, move forward, forward backstitch, and continue sewing. That just makes the process a lot faster so that you don't have to cut your thread in the middle. So I'll just go right here and cut my little threads. So here is my opening maybe. There we go, here's my opening, okay? So all I'm gonna do now is take my finger, put it inside and pull the ends of my bow out. Okay, and then I usually use the end of a paintbrush. If you have a wooden dowel, you can use that. You could use the eraser side of a pencil just to kind of push my corners out so that everything looks really nice. And then I'm gonna iron it, because pressing is always a good choice. And that will press this seam that I haven't sewn in the middle. It will keep it nice and flat as well, so that everything looks good. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take my, um, bow here and I'm just going to close off the hole just going right across the top simple as that and there's my bow top so it will tie in a bow on my scrunchie when my scrunchie is ready to go Okay, so I'm just gonna set that aside for now, and now we're gonna focus on the scrunchie. Now this method is actually different than the tutorial and video that we already have here on um, YouTube and on our blog, So Simple Home. We are going to do the burrito method today. So it's just another method to make a scrunchie. Um, and this one is actually maybe a little bit quicker, um, but it is it can be a little confusing. So just follow along real slow. So I have my scrunchie here, I'm going to Fold it in half, right sides together, and match the short sides. So my two short sides right here are matching. I'm gonna stitch quarter of an inch seam allowance right here, making sure I back stitch at the beginning and the end. This is gonna be what holds my scrunchie together. So this seam is important. So treat it important. Okay, now I'm gonna open it. flat and then I'm going to open this little seam that I just 
have sewn. You can finger press it. If you have an iron handy, you can just iron it flat. So it, it's nice and flat. That will actually help here in the process as we do the burrito. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over and now I'm gonna create my burrito. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create my toppings. So that's this middle section here. So I'm taking this top layer only, so you can see the bottom layer still here. I'm matching the ends and then I'm gonna fold everything kind of in the middle here like this. So these are my toppings. These are my beans, my cheese, my rice, whatever you put in your burrito. This is where we want them, in the middle, out of the way. We don't wanna sew them. Now my tortilla, we're going to bring it up and match the raw edges of that like this with all my toppings kind of in the middle. See that? So we're going to stitch along the tortilla without stitching the toppings. We're gonna to start up here at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. We're gonna stitch all the way down, okay? So starting up here at the top, just a quarter of an inch seam allowance, forward and back, stitch across. And we're gonna go close to the end, but not all the way. Then we're gonna make sure our needle is down in our fabric, lift our presser foot. Now we're gonna move our toppings. So we're gonna slowly pull our toppings through our scrunchie here to the other side. You can kind of see how that's working. So you can see it's kind of unfolding. So I have my two ends I'm sewing and then here's my toppings in the middle. So I'm just gonna push those back in the middle Match my raw edges here, put my presser foot down, and keep sewing. Make sure you don't get those toppings in there. Okay, I'm back to the end again. Putting my needle down, and I'm moving my burrito along here, pulling my toppings through a little bit more. Now you're gonna get it to a point, and I think we reached it well, almost. You're going to get to the point, here's the end. This is where we actually started our burrito. We started it right here. So we, we don't want to sew all the way. So I'll show you here. Let's throw our toppings in there. Stitch down. So here's the end. So I want to leave a little opening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch you about right here. So I have about two fingers worth for the opening. So here's my little opening here. And here's the rest of my scrunchie. Kind of looks weird, I know, but I promise it's gonna work out. Okay, now I need my elastic. And you're gonna need about 10, 10 to 11 inches of a quarter of an inch elastic. I like maybe just a little bit more stretch but that's totally up to you. Make your first one and decide if you want more or less. I just put my elastic on the end of a safety pin because I don't have a bodkin. Could I get one? Sure. Do I really need one? Not necessarily. Um, if you have a bodkin, go for it. But I'm gonna just stick my elastic with my safety pin through the middle of my scrunchie here so it pops out on the other side. So you can see, oops. I got my elastic on both sides here. So they can meet in the middle. Okay, now there's two ways that you can finish off your elastic. You can tie it in a knot, which is what I'm going to do. And you're gonna leave about an inch of elastic at the top. Tie it really tight. Or you can also stitch your elastic together. Now, why do I prefer the knot? Every scrunchie I've ever had that I've created myself, um, the elastic snaps at some point wherever I've sewn it. Even if I sew it like crazy, just over time as it stretches and stretches, the elastic eventually snaps. So either I have to open the scrunchie up and fix it or I just throw it away. But when you tie a knot, it seems to hold fairly well, especially if you do a really nice knot. So that's why I'm saying knot, but you could definitely sew it if you want. All right. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna turn it right side out. So I have my hole here that I left and I'm literally just gonna pull the scrunchie and the elastic through that hole. 
Now, I don't know how it works, and I don't know why it works, but it works. It always seems to me that that would not work once you put the elastic on, but it always does. So, uh, now I've turned it right side out, and I have a cute little scrunchie. Of course, I also still have my little opening right here. So, you can hand stitch this closed if you would rather, or you can just put it under your machine, which is what I'm going to do. And just forward and back stitch at the beginning, go across the opening to the opposite side, forward and back stitch, and you have closed off your scrunchie. Now, if you were just going to make the scrunchie with no um, bow, you might want to use a slip stitch just so you can't see the stitching. But even in professional um, made scrunchies, they often will have this stitch because it's just faster. But what I like about it is with the bow, you're actually going to be covering up that stitch. So now let's add our bow. We're literally going to put it over the top and feed it through the donut, if you will. And then we're just going to tie it off. So I'm just literally tying a bow. How cute is that? So I've got a little bow and I've got a much bigger bow. But you can see, it's super cute, super simple. It's great on your wrist, but it's also really cute in the hair. So that is how you make a bow scrunchie. Again, you can get the full pattern and tutorial a printable pattern for free in the link in our description. You can um, follow along in all of our other social media and you can find other great sewing projects here at So Simple Home um, and on our blog, SoSimpleHome.com. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments and we'll see you next time.